This is the current setup I'm using for the Schlaren photography that I'm doing. I've got my uh, Sony uh, camcorder, it's actually a tape recorder, movie camera over here. Uh, mounted on a linear slide. There's two linear slides on the bottom. It allows me to position things back and forth like this. Uh, over here is a light source that's an LED inside of a tube through this aluminum block. I have a vertical adjustment on a vernier, a uh, horizontal adjustment on a vernier over here, and of course it slides back and forth on the, the linear rail, as does the uh, camcorder. Move that back and forth to get it right at the focal point of the mirror, which I'll show in a minute. Got a uh, colored filter that I put covering part of the lens right at the focal point of the mirror. Then up here in the front I've got right on the tip of this you can see a beam splitter that's a very small piece of glass uh, coated, optically coated underneath it is a rotational assembly I can adjust this uh, this knob over here to rotate the mirror side to side and then it's on a Newport stage kinematic mount that I can adjust the, the pan and tilt of the mirror so set this in front of the light source, the diode. I've also used a laser in here with some lenses. In this case it's a diode. It shines off the mirror. Uh, half of it goes straight through. The other half bounces down that way. It's uh, use all these adjustments to align it coaxially with the, the view of the camera. So the light from the, the diode comes off the, the beam splitter. goes down range, way down there. You can see that round mirror right there on a kinematic mount that I built. It's a parabolic mirror. So the light is 10 feet away. The light reflects back. Starts off with the diode, goes off this beam splitter down to the mirror. It's reflected back comes back through the mirror, straight through, and into the camera. And then it's all on slide so I can move it all around. 